Yo, oh, it's gonna focus? Okay. What's going on, YouTube? I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible. I'm basically going to be sharing my time, like my story, you know what I'm saying, my experience with UPS and being a package handler, you know what I'm saying, for the day or two that I was even there. I'm gonna tell you guys why I quit and why ultimately this wasn't the best thing for me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, just so you guys know, uh, my name's Cameron, you know what I'm saying, aka Cam Rams on this channel. I do a bunch of different things from vlogs to skits to reactions to unboxing. So, you know what I'm saying? If you guys want to check it out, check out some other of my videos. And if this video is helpful to you and you like the video, and uh, you know, consider subscribing, you know, because it would really help me out. But basically, I'm gonna tell you guys about my time with UPS and just why it just ultimately was not the best decision for me. Look, guys, I show up to orientation, you know what I'm saying? Show up to orientation, and literally they're like, if you were here last week, stand over here. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, I, this is the first day. Like, I'm confused. I'm looking around like, is this y'all's first day? Yo, they can only have a certain amount of people that are in the classroom to, like, teach them whatever. So... They didn't have enough room, so they just told them to come back next week. So she was like, those people that were there last week had first dibs in our class this week. But my whole thing is like, if you know that you only have a certain amount of people like that can be in a classroom or be in a certain area, why would you even tell those people to come? You're wasting people's time. First red flag. Anyways, we get into there. I'm telling you guys, this was the most unorganized thing a business that I've ever been a part of man it was so bad it was so bad so first day that I was there guys you know and I made I, my name was fortunately called so I was able to do the orientation that day you know what I'm saying and you're just in a classroom you're literally in a classroom and we just watched a 45 minute video about hazardous materials and what to do um, you know what I'm saying when you have a box um, that has hazardous materials in it. You know what I'm saying? We did a bunch of paperwork and that was the first day. You know what I'm saying? One thing that I found out on the first day that really kind of grinded my gears was that they lied and said that this was a part-time job when really it was a seasonal job. So they said that if you do well, that they invite people from from the, to like come work with them after that. But it's just like, yo, just be straight up with me. Second red flag, right? Or third red flag, where I don't even know. It was hella red flags. So anyways, I come back the second day, you know what I'm saying? Ready to work, I'm still eager and everything like that. And um, they didn't teach me how to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, absolutely nada. Um, I pull up there, you know, second day and the dude was like, oh, okay, you're gonna be a loader. So I'm like, cool. So they, they basically, to kind of run it through with you guys, um, they have a few different things in, in a package handler. So you can be like a loader, you can be an unloader, and you can be a sorter. You know what I'm saying? So I was chosen to be a loader. I think just because of my physical physique. You know what I'm saying? I'm a uh, ex-college athlete. So, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. So I was chosen to be a loader. I don't know why. Um, but anyways, that's beyond the point. So they were like, basically he was like dude comes come come with me keep in mind first day we didn't even go in um into the warehouse or anything we were just in that little classroom so second day we we're actually we were going into the warehouse and dude was like touching different things in the warehouse and like telling us he was like okay this is an extendo this is a grail this is this this is this and he would like quiz us real quick you know what i'm saying i was like really into it so i was like oh yeah that's an extendo so you know what i'm saying i'm like what so then he kind of you know was like he was like all right look i'm gone from here you, here's your here's your supervisor. So you have a part-time supervisor and a full-time supervisor. I met my full-time supervisor. My full-time supervisor says, hey, my name's Jason. What's all your names? We all say our name. And um, I'm like, cool. Real cool dude. He's like, all right. He gives me like a scanner and like, um, it was like, yo, I'm throwing you in here with Roma. So I'm like, wait, what, like what? So basically my job, that I found out was I scan every single package and then put it into the trailer. So I basically spend a lot of time, most of my time as a loader, your time, if you're a loader, you're going to be inside of a trailer, just loading it, playing Tetris, trying to fit it as nice and neatly, as perfect as possible, all the way to the top of the trailer from the end, all the way until you can't load it anymore. So that's your job as a loader. So he was sticks me in with this random dude and was like, hey, you know, I'm sticking in here with him. I'll check on you later. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm just like in there scanning. I'm just like, I, I don't know, man. Like, I'm cool with being like, 
thrown to the fire because that's how you learn but don't have me not knowing what to do and just throwing me to the fire so it's like okay like y'all don't really value trying to teach anybody anything I think that's the thing with UPS is they have so many people that go in and out that they're not they're not personable they're not gonna be trying to you know what I'm saying so I was very turned off by that you know so I ended up in a trailer and then all my dude that I was working with in the trailer he was like yo I'm gonna go somewhere else I was like okay like and I was just in the trailer by myself probably for an hour just loading packages by myself this is my first day and it's peak season so I'm telling you guys all these packages coming at me boom 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 from this extendo you got to take it from the extendo scan it put it up scan it put it up scan it put it up as fast as you can so it can be very stressful now i want people to understand that um it's going to be very stressful and it's it's going to give you anxiety but just tr just push through you know what i'm saying they didn't tell me like um i'm over here like yo can i go to the bathroom real quick like do i ha you know what i'm saying where is the bathroom it's such a big warehouse my hub was um decently big so it was like i was just like had so many different questions but they kind of just throw you in and it's like whatever that my supervisor never came back to check on me um, you know what I'm saying? And what really, what really kind of ended it for me was that a dude called me, was like, yo, Cam. And I was like, so I came to him as like an old, older white gentleman. And he was like, um, he was like kind of below me and there was like a, a two step ladder. So I was just kind of stepped down and was like, Hey, what's up? And he got so mad. He was like, yo, Cam, what are you doing? Like, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be facing the ladder. You gotta be face, you gotta be facing the ladder when you go up and down, they're going to fire you. And I was just like, Jeff, number, that's not even his name. I don't even know his damn name. He was bald. But I was like, dude, no, none of your workers even explained to me remotely how to do anything. And I'm over here putting these packages up for you, dog. So how about you come at me a different way? You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, anybody that wants to, to, to do it, it's a, it's, I will say it's a, it's very physical. You know what I'm saying? It's a very physical job. You know what I'm saying? Drink hella water. Take care of your body before you go in there because it's very physical. I was a twilight shift. So I would basically would come from like 4.30 to like 4.30 to 5-ish to like 10. You know what I'm saying? Roughly. But I only worked a one day. You know what I'm saying? After that, I was like, no, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, well, like it was just so unorganized. You know what I'm saying? Like, um when I asked them, like, when do I come to work at five every single day? They were like, oh, you could just come around five. And I was like, around five? Like, oh, you know, they're like, yeah, Mondays, it's like 4.45 and Tuesdays about 4.30. And I'm just like, yo, I need set times. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all not going to punish me because I'm late. So tell me, tell me what it is. This is, everybody was like being around the bush. It was just like the weirdest thing, man. And I was like, you know, at the end of the night, I had got like logged out of my scanner, right? So I go, I can't find my supervisor. I'm going all over UPS. I'm walking around. I'm like, finally find my supervisor. And I'm like, yo, I don't have, I, can you log me back into my scanner? He was like, what's your number? And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, they didn't give you a number at orientation. I was like, no, they didn't give me an orient. They didn't give me a number at orientation. Just for more, it was just so unorganized. He was like, they were supposed to give you a number. And he's like looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, yo, I don't have a number. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? So can you log me back into or not so I can get back to my job? So it's like, he's like, oh, you could just go home then. And I'm like, okay, like, so then like, how do I clock out? Like, you guys didn't even tell me like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, it bro these mugs write down when they get to work on a piece of paper i was like dude you can't be serious they literally write down on a piece of paper when you get there and when you leave i was like bro are we in the 70s right now like there's gotta be enough you know what i'm saying i was like so i jokingly said to my one of my supervisors i was like so what's this i was like how would you know that i didn't get here at three and i just wrote down two you know what i'm saying whatever he was like ha ha i guess we would never know and i was like huh so you know just a very not a good situation for myself i'm not gonna speak on all of the ups i'm just saying for me it was very unorganized and i'm just not i'm not one for that you know what i'm saying they didn't tell me how to do anything you kind of just gotta figure out how to do everything yourself so you know that was just kind of my experience with ups um in terms of what you need to wear 
um they have everything in the package but definitely get some get some work boots you need some work boots and some gloves i would recommend some gloves because a lot of those boxes are going to hit your hands and get some calluses and everything like that you know what i'm saying i got my boots from walmart um i think they're called the brahma bent brahma brand i got like a brahma raid or like 23 bucks and i just ordered some gloves from amazon but i'm gonna return them because i actually had a, a pair of gloves that i used before i ordered them on amazon so i'm just gonna get my little money back with amazon you know what i'm saying but all in all i hope i answered a bunch of your questions if you have any other questions that i did not cover in this video please comment below i will answer i will respond to every single comment if you guys have any other questions you know what i'm saying i hope this helps somebody um you know what i'm saying but i appreciate the time if you guys made it to the end of the video i know it's a long video i usually don't like doing long videos like this but if you made it to the end you a real one um and i hope to see you guys in some future next uh, future videos so i appreciate it you guys have a great rest of your night and um ups is not it peace no i'm just kidding <laughs>